One of the things I love about summer is the fact that I know most people during summer when the sun comes out get casual, they get comfortable, they leave 30 minutes earlier from work, they don't stay late, I gotta go home. But also during that summer season, every single time in my career, if you look at my sales months, the biggest months of my career have intentionally been during summertime because I just know what happens during summertime. <laughs> Instead of having a weekly challenge for you, I got a summer challenge for you with five books I want you to read before September 1st. These five books, the goal is by the time you get back to work on September 1st, obviously you're working summertime, but by September 1st, the goal is for your peers, your competitors, all the people you work with on a daily basis, your relatives, no one's gonna recognize you have to read these five books. No More Mr. Nice Guy. Let me tell you why I want you to read the book No More Mr. Nice Guy. No More Mr. Nice Guy is a book about how men have become babies because the last generation of men were raised by their mothers. Well, two, three generations ago, boys were raised by their sons on farms. So because of that, a lot has changed on how men are today versus how we were 80, 90 years ago. So when you read it, you're gonna look at it in a whole different way. And by the way, I recommend men and women to read this book because it'll shift your mindset. I probably recommended this book to a couple hundred guys and when I do after they read it, they say, did you recommend this book because you were thinking about me? I said, well, you know, kind of yes. So you're either gonna read this and you're gonna say, wait a minute, is Pat talking about me? If the shoe fits, I'm probably talking about you. But if it doesn't, you'll at least get an understanding about how men are wired after you read this book called No More Mr. Nice Guy. Number four book is called Strategy. Here's why I like this book. It's a big book. You can listen to the audio book, but here's why I want you to read this book. In the game of business, I talk about four things, right? Outwork, outimprove, outlast, outstrategize, right? Outstrategize comes last because you have to figure out a lot of different things you do that doesn't work. This book you read, you're going to read it and you're going to say, oh my gosh, this makes a lot of sense that the strategy they use in war and in politics or every single industry, he shares you different strategies that were used in every industry, religion, Hollywood, every possible way. And you're gonna sit there and say, this guy's used that on me before. I've used this before, not known about it. But by the time you're done, you're gonna get two or three strategies to use from September 1st on to have a killer 2018 and finish off the year on a high note. Now, number three, Principles by Ray Dalio. Listen, if you haven't yet read it, you gotta go to the bookstore and order it immediately. This could have been the number one book, but you will know why I put a certain book number one. Ray Dalio breaks down the concept of how to build the right principles and values in your business in ways I've never read in another book before. And I'm telling you, and I've read 1,500 business books, the way he breaks it down is a book. It's the reason why I had every one of my sales guys in the company read it, every one of our sales vice presidents read it, every one of my president's council, chairman's council read it, and every employee at our home office, and they wrote a report on it. It's that powerful of a book. It's 500 pages, but by the time you're done reading it, you will not look at business, leadership, management, any of that stuff the same way ever again. Number two, skin in the game. Now let me tell you why I like this book. When I read this book, I read it again. It was recommended by multiple different people. I like this book because he challenges everybody. Politicians, family, religions, business. He challenges every single conventional thinking and he says, why do you have an opinion about how things should be done if you don't have skin in the game? You gotta listen to it because it'll help with your arguments as you're speaking to people in your company. It just will strengthen a lot of your arguments that you have in your life. Again, skin the game, must read book. And last but not least, the number one book to read this summer, The Art of the Deal by Donald Trump. I didn't say President Donald Trump, it's Donald Trump. Why? Because when he wrote it, he wasn't hated like he is today. Both Republicans, Democrats, Independents, Libertarians liked him because there was no politics involved. People don't like him today because now they're realizing what his political beliefs are. Whether it was Reagan, whether it was Bush, whether it was Clinton, anybody, I want to know how you're wired and how you're thinking. I want to consume your content. When you read this book, Art of the Deal, one, your negotiation will improve. Number two, you will know exactly who your president is, why he's having these types of meetings with G7, that they're coming back and having all this controversy with this picture, this famous picture that you will see that'll be shown for decades. A few hundred years from now, people are going to show this picture about President Donald Trump. When you look at them at the meeting and you got the hands down saying, what are you doing? Why are you making this thing so difficult? Because he's negotiating with every one of them. And what they don't realize is he is the master negotiator amongst everybody because he's been doing this for so many years. So if you don't own any of these five books, click on the link below in the description. You'll go straight to Amazon, order the five books. And by the way, if you've read any of these books and you got some input on what you liked about it, I want to hear from you. What did you like about one of these five books that you read? Send me a tweet at Patrick Bay David on what you took away from one of these five books. With that being said, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, click on the sub button. Enjoy reading these five books this summer. Take care. Bye-bye.